Frame just started now. Kieran's had a wander away, he's given up commenting. One of the biggest breaks in the game. Oh my gosh. Watch this man. Found the ball. Oh, found the cue ball as well. Here's Jan, Jan Locking. I think we're probably going the red. A couple of bad balls on the cushion, but then you've still got the two yellows at the bottom where it's looking difficult, so I'll probably go reds here. Hit one into the middle, two down the rail. One into the top corner, down the rail, in the corner. Back in the corner, punch the corner. That easy sitting here, but obviously, if you come on the table, it's a bit difficult there. Uh, what would you be going here now? Okay. I think I'd have to agree with you, Liam. It'd have to be reds. To me, it looks like that red creeps past that yellow down the rail. I'd certainly be looking to get rid of at least one of the bad, bad reds out now. I think if you take a. Um, for, for me, if you take the one on the right, down the bottom of the table towards the alley, down to the black corner pocket, and then I think your favourite there. Yeah. That's a bad shot, isn't it? I think now it's. It all depends on them yellows down there, I mean, there's a slight gap between them. If you can get to that top one through the gap, which I can't actually tell from me. Yeah. 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 If, he, if he can run on one of them two yellows down the bottom, I think this is game over. Got a, we have got a chance here, the way you want to go about the finish really, you've just got to leave the one by the side rail to roll down to the red, just think, take the one where he's going to take one, the other, one at the rail and then hit the two medals, be on the one at the corner and then your favourite and another, I don't think there's really, I don't think there's really two other bags there if the red goes past where the yellow is. I'll be looking to the well of the one there by the yellow. It's cannon into the yellow, cannon into the red, and then I think it's there for the taking now. Why don't you do just stun up the table and take the one, the red down the rail and cover the black for your last ball, and then be on the black air uh, straight away. Absolutely perfect for me now. Just take the one in the corner, right corner, and then obviously it's a big bag by the alley. And the red down the rail, I think you're perfect now. Yeah, nice long loop now. Yeah. 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 I think it looks a lot tighter than what we are. Now you need to uh, 
It's all about the angle from his last. The ball down now to get onto the black and one good shot here. And the frame should be all over for me. Oh dear. Now a massive chance for John Hughes now just make sure of the frame. Get the frame one, it's a massive chance. I think if you're chopping the one into the middle bag, the white's going down towards the two on the rail. And it's a nice little easy snooker, make sure you get in the frame one there. There we go, one good shot now, just get the snooker and then it's favourite for the frame. I've got Luke to develop one so they both go just when he has got the two shots next. I think it's an easy easy one get out of though really if he just rolls up from the side rail up to the one there and he plays it well enough he might be able to get the snooker back. Or you can go the extravagant way, you can flick it off the side rail, red in the corner bag, and then uh, show for a better look. Asking for a bit there, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> we all don't know if I was playing, it says uh, down and wacky here now. Yeah, it was an easy enough one get out of but like I say, he's left in the chance now, isn't he? Yeah, I think playing it that way, I think you were looking for a bit too much. I think if you just rolled on top of it, you were totaled anyway, so you didn't have to push in after And then it was a lot, lot harder finish, and now it's a pretty easy finish. Play the one into the corner where the black is, and, out, and then just pick them off really from there. A couple of good shots when he might even drop another snooker end towards the end of this year, Liam. I think he's looking for it after, after this shot, really. Yeah. Unless the plant does go into the corner. I think another poor shot there, now he's got a chance to actually go out and play the double down to the corner and it's a big bag really so you can play it wide play it into the corner with a bit of top on the cue ball and then you're absolutely perfect there you're on the red and it's a perfect angle he does look to chop it in, I think the white's travelling a lot more than he did when he's playing the double he's gone the old way Liam but I don't think he's hit it hard enough yeah, you've got I think for me there you could have put a lot of pace into that shot and then just made sure you've got you've got the finish there. And now John's got the chance to actually get that bag. Or probably not off this shot, but plays a good shot to the red into the uh, yellow into the corner. And then it's a chance to actually get that bag where the red is and your favourite full frame there.
played a very good shot there uh, really, he's got the snooker and he's favourite for the frame now. That's probably the shot I didn't see from where we are but great shot. Tough snooker get out of as well really. I think it's easy. One cushion off the sides to perhaps hit the one up the table here in the bulk. Well really if you if you really did feel confident here and you play your top two cushions off the side, off the back back top rail and then in behind the red and get the snooker back. That's what he's gone for. He's at it. A bit unlucky there really. A chance now for John. Is that you're chopping the yellow into the middle or you play in the middle yellow of the three and gain the snooker again, it's totally up to him what he likes. He's looking at the chop into the middle. Oh, there we go, he's got a bit lucky there, he's absolutely you get one perfect three. here now. Now we take the plant and then the one onto the rail and you're moving the red out the way after the space of the black into the corner. Or you're taking the one into the corner and coming back over where his skewer is now for the yellow into the other corner. So he might be here looking to take the one into the middle bag here now and then uh, the yellow into the corner, the black into the same middle where he's playing the yellow. Yeah, absolutely perfect here now. Not played it very well at all now. I think John will be looking to get command of the pocket to where, to where he is down by that yellow. I think you're absolutely perfect if you do. You're in command of the frame and you've got the frame at your mercy. Played it confidently, I think, and now off the yellow, or would you just be going straight? I'm probably looking. Obviously, we can't see the table from where we are, but if that black does go into the corner where he's potting the red, flick it round off the off the top rail, or you're playing it like dead weight and playing the black into the, in the middle or the top corner, it's totally up. Oh, he tried to take off the yellow. He's, he's, he's had a result there, I think the yellow does now go off the rail, off the red, and you're either getting the bag or you're getting the pot. I think. But, bit of a scrappy frame, it has turned into a massively scrappy frame. At this stage in the frame, you need to make sure and get the frame won. Obviously, just to remind people, we are on a double elimination event tonight, so if you do lose, um, one game, you're not all, you're not out straight away. You have got two lives. What I do understand, this is, um, I think this is the first game for both players. So whoever does lose, is still in the competition. So you just take your chance. Okay, so Mr. Flaherty has have to leave us to go and play his frame. He will resume with us shortly. But in the meantime, I've got old Capitan Lee Baskerville with us on the commentary. And it looks like John Hughes has played a good shot there.
Oh, we could see that ball leak. I didn't think he could No, see I that. didn't think John could see that myself, but he obviously could and he's uh, done the business. This for the win. Oh, oh my life, he's um I think that's what we like to call in the game of pool, a checking wing. Definitely, definitely. And Johnny Locker is one of those people that like to tell people when they've had a chicken wing so John I'll tell you yourself that was a massive chicken winger Okay, so that's um, the break conceded by John Hughes, so that's a John Locker win. That is a John Locker win.